<laughs> if you're new to this video, my name is Jasmine, and I guess I like to do book videos sometimes, or like vlogs. I don't know. I don't know. It's supposed to start it out as a book too, but it became something else. Okay, so this video is going to be about books that I read from February 15th till April 15th. So today's April 15th. This is when I'm making the video. Well, I mean, it makes sense if you follow me on Goodreads because I kind of like constantly post on that. Like what books I read and like what I thought about the book. But I'm going to read it if you don't follow me on Goodreads. So I'm going to read it and put it up on the screen. If you want to follow me, I think it's Jasmine Wolf or Jasmine Frias. I don't remember. But we'll start with the first book. I don't remember what was the first book. But I gave it five stars. And this is what I wrote. Such a good book. Reminds me of Beauty and the Beast but as fairies. Love story between Tamlin and Feyre is cute. And I read finished that book February 14th um so this okay now I remember this book is a court of thorns and roses um I kind of like did it in my March haul yeah March haul because I didn't do a February haul um yeah it was it was actually pretty good like I think there's like five books I've only read the first one I need to buy the other ones um, but it's really good. I think if you like fairies, and it kind of does like Beauty and the Beast, kind of, but with fairies, as I said, it's pretty good. You should definitely read it if you're into those kind of books. <laughs> um, only thing that there's some parts that are like pretty frisky. I think there's only two, and then there's like embarrassing parts, but like, can't do nothing about that. Okay, next book. Um, uh, I gave it five stars, and I finished it February 19th. Well, this book surprised me at the first. First, I didn't like how it was the perspective of the other sister, but it was really good. I'm glad they did change the perspectives. So, this book is uh, Legendary by Stephanie Garber, and uh, I should have done a... Uh, <coughs> what's it called? A book vlog of reading that because I did the book vlog of uh, Carl, which is the first book, and they the third one finale comes out in May, and I did not pre order it. So, this book is super, super good. It deals with like, <coughs> um, I guess I want to say like the 1800s. I don't really know the era, but I have a feeling they kind of like speak Spanish, but like in the book it's English, obviously, because uh, there's like a lot of Spanish words. Words. Um, they go to a land of like Carval, and then it's so trippy. Like it's a game, right? Um, the sister. Which is in the perspective of the second book. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm in my parking lot. So all the cars are like passing by. And I'm wearing a yellow shirt. So you could probably see me. But. Don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah. So it's like a game in the book. In the first one. And then. Which is Scarlet. In the first book. The, the sister. And then she wins the game. The second one, her sister would. What's her name? I forgot her name, but it's her perspective now, and she plays the game again. But in her time, but like she wins, she wins it, but she ends up like knowing who is um, legendary. That's why the book's called the second book's called Legendary because they find out who's legend. And I kind of like figured who was Legend, but then I don't because there's like, they throw like, I guess, other people and then you're like, oh, I think it's that person. And then like, <coughs> um, 
she kind of ends up falling in love with Legend. <laughs> but Legend is... Uh, I want to tell his actual... I know who it is. His real name. That's what he's, But if you haven't read it and you really want to read it. This book, uh, my friend loved it to me, so... <coughs> I don't have, like, the actual book. I need to buy it. I gave it three stars. And I finished it February 24th. It says, it was exactly as the fairy tale except the singing parts. Singing parts. But the ending was twisted and more detailed. Um, this book, it is, a <coughs> it's one of, like, the twisted tales. I don't remember who. There's, like, five of them, and then there's, there's four. They just released, uh, I think it's called Mirror Mirror. But, like, it's called as old as time so it's a bunch of like fairy fairy tales like Beauty and the Beast there's Cinderella there's Snow White Slow Beauty all that stuff but the one I read was um like a Beauty and the Beast retelling but like a little more twisted so it tells like the perspectives of Belle's dad of like how like where's the mom no one really talks about the mom so like apparently when he was there, um, he met Belle's mom, which is, she is the one that cursed the beast. Um, <coughs> we all know that the beast is the prince. Um, so they talk about like how they met, that she's, everyone knows that like there's people, um, with powers or whatever. And she was like one of the strongest in the village. And then she did something to the bees. Turned him into the bees because he couldn't see the real beauty of a person. Uh, so she made like the whole village forget about like magic and stuff. Except the beast. And then Belle gets kidnapped. Well, Y'all know the story of Beauty and the Beast. So that's what they do in the beginnings. And then it goes to Belle's perfect perspective which is like in the movie exactly like in the movie and then the ending was pretty twisted um but did not come out how like in the actual movie like how the beast be does it no it just stops but the beast is still like as the beast but like Belle likes the beast and everyone knows it yeah so I guess that one Three stars because it wasn't that twisted. <coughs> I also gave this one three stars and I finished it on March 14th. It was really good in the beginning, but once it was getting to the end, it got really boring for me. I love the two per perspectives of characters. It reminded me of The 100, but with two people. So this one is These Broken Stars, and it's about they're in space. They live in space. <coughs> um, and then it's like um, the girl, her name is Lilac. And the guy, I don't remember the guy's name. But she, Lilac is like the most famous celebrity there. Her dad created like the ship and stuff, I guess, years before <coughs> they lived on like a planet or something. So if something happens, the ship gets like. I think it stops like floating in space and it crashes into a planet and then they escape into an escape pod. Both of them, the guy and the girl. Um, and then they just pretty much survive in the planet. They end up falling in love obviously because they're the only guy and the girl. Um, it just got boring after. Yeah, I got really boring after because of like, I don't care about their love in this book. And then the ending sucked. And there's like two other books, but I don't think it's continuing of them. But like, they're from like, the other books, they're probably like other people, but like in, like how it happened for them. Get me? So that's why I gave it three stars. <coughs> they tried. They tried. Uh, next one. I gave this one four stars. And I finished it April 3rd. 
confusing in beginning with having more than three perspectives and no names of who is talking but a really good book ending that had me in suspense and can't wait to purchase the next book this book is three dark crowns i just wanted to read it because i wanted to know what was all the hype about well i think there's another one that i did the same thing um yeah at first i did not like it it was so confusing like it just tells the names of any shepherd just tells the names of where they live but they don't say the names of the person but there's like more than three perspectives so there I guess there's like five um and they're mostly just from like three kingdoms I think there's but there are three sisters there are triplets um once the mother gives birth to them the queen um i guess like every 20 yeah, every century i don't know gives the queen gives birth to triplets they have to fight each other they have to kill each other to be like the queen which is pretty dumb <coughs> and um the powers each one has powers one has poison like a poisoner so like she could consume poisons well uh, without getting sick and she could like create poisons and stuff. Um, the other one, um, could control like nature, I guess, or like talk to animals and stuff. Um, yeah, and they have like a familiar, which is like a, a creature that they could like feel, but like the depending on like the strongest creature. Um, the last one would be like a wolf. So that's the the last strongest one. The one now in the book is a bobcat. Um, yep. And then the last sister has um, what's it called? Could like control elements. So like fire, wind, earth, air. Okay. Um, yeah. But I mean, I even texted my best friend, like, this book is so boring. I understand how people, what's the all about the hype and stuff. <coughs> and then I got to the end because I had to finish the book. Um, it got really good. I was, like, gripping it. Like, uh, I don't have the book. I was, I'm in my car, so I don't. I left it at home. Um, like, the edges are, like, kind of bad from, like, gripping it too much. So good. Now I can't wait to get the next book. It, like, it was pretty twisted and some parts were pretty dumb like why did you do this but whatever i can't do nothing about it it's a book I gave it five stars and this was i finished it april 8th and i just this is the only sentence i wrote i honestly have no words for how shocked i am this book is our dark direct our dark duet and the first book which is the the savage savage song I think I did a reading vlog on that book. I don't remember. I probably did. <coughs> but the second book. Oh my god. Oh, that was. I. I have no words to tell you. Like how I wrote in the. What I felt about the book in Goodreads. Like, I'll put like a freaking, I'll put a meme right here that literally represents what I feel. <laughs> it's pretty funny, I just saw it today. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip this one and I'm gonna go to the last book. Um, I gave it five stars and I finished it April 12th, which is recently. And at first I did not, didn't like, didn't like it because it reminded me exactly like another book. The more I kept reading, it was cruel and dark, which I enjoyed. The last chapters were so mind-blowing and flipped upside down. This book is The Cruel Prince, which is another book that everyone was, like, hyping about. Which is the second one literally came out in the beginning of the year, which is The Wicked King. And I can't wait to get it. But I need to stop buying books. Um, The Cruel Prince. In the beginning, 
it kind of reminded me like um what's it called a court of a court of thorns and roses well except like the frisky part and stuff because they're young i wait in the book they're young too okay anyway um yeah they're just like they're human people living a fairy world, um, but they end up growing up in the fairy world because the mom and their dad died, but like their older sister is a fairy, and <coughs> you have to <coughs> read the book. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's the cruel prince, which is uh, he's the youngest of like seven siblings, so everyone their his siblings have like kingdoms and stuff. They end up dying because uh, of one brother was like wanted the throne but killed everyone, all his siblings, which is a pretty weird. Like, and the cruel prince, what's his, what's his, his name is Cardin, and um, he was such a jerk to Jude, which is the twins one of the the main sister she's a twin though um they mess with her they like there's like it was just so so sad like it kind of i kind of felt it felt that um but then eventually like uh <coughs> the last chapters got so flipped upside down like what the heck he, he cardin was like a jerk to her and then <laughs> oh, and then of like being together. And, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Let me stop torturing myself like this. But, <coughs> yep. Those are the books that I've read that are pretty, pretty dark. Pretty, pretty dark. Just really. Um, also, I would like to show like the recent read I'm reading right now. I have a feeling I'm gonna finish it today. So, I'm like, what's the point of doing it for my next Re reads <coughs> <coughs> so the read the book i'm reading is called frostblood looks like that by ellie blake um it's pretty good it also deals with powers and kings and queens just realized mostly all the books i've read are about kings and queens with powers um the girl, what's her name? Her name is Ruby. She's a fireblood, so she controls fire. But she lives in a frostblood world. So, like, everyone... <coughs> the ones with the power of, like, frost, which is ice. Um, and fire and ice don't get along with each other or whatever. Um, but she's the only fireblood in that kingdom. So, the king is trying to kill her. But then, then they meet like uh, an abbey. It's like a church or whatever. It was like monks and stuff. And then they help her like with her powers. Um, the one that helps her, his name is Arcus, and he is a frostblood. And then they end up falling in love with each other. Oh. <coughs> but. He has like scarring on his face from like being burned, but not by her. Um, but he used to live like in the throne and he got burned by one of the masters. Um, that's why he's kind of afraid of her, but like, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna finish it for sure, for sure today. And I started reading it yesterday. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> so yeah. Um I actually talked more in this one <laughs> and then the last one. I'm actually getting better. So thank you for watching. If you could follow me on Goodreads, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, I think that's it. I also have Facebook, but no one goes on Facebook. So yeah. Like this video, subscribe, <laughs> um, and I see you guys in my next video. Bye.